Hey guys, Anish Welder here from Tech Vision 360 and the iPad 3 just got released a couple hours ago. And this is the recap video, so I'm going to be telling you everything that happened. Uh, obviously, you can watch it, but this will be a little quicker. And I'll only highlight the important and the most fun points of the actual conference. So let's get started. I'll be showing pictures on the sides. So enjoy this video. So first up, Apple started with a short video on the Amsterdam Apple Store. It's the new Apple Store, which obviously opened in Amsterdam. And here's a picture of what it looks like. And this is a great, it's a great store. It's huge, beautiful, all that kind of stuff. Then Tim Cook took the stage. He mentioned the amount of iOS devices out there. And that number is actually 350 million. That's a lot of devices. Siri is available in Japanese now. Apple released the new Apple TV. It displays 1080p video and it's got a new UI, which trust me looks pretty fantastic. The price range for this product will be $99 in the US. Then Apple went through some statistics about the iPad, how many units were sold, and that kind of stuff. The iPad received a lot of achievements too. For example, it was the favorite for reading books, for playing games, and for reading mail. There are now 200,000 plus custom made iPad apps in the App Store. Now, what you've been waiting for, this is the new iPad. The new iPad has Retina display with 2048 by 1536 resolution, 3.1 million pixels. It's got an A5X processor, 5 megapixel camera on the back side of the iPad. These are just some of the video um, and, and the picture capabilities, slash settings, slash potential of the iPad. And these are basically the new things which Apple introduced to the iPad. They're coming out with 4G LTE which runs on Verizon, AT&T and a number of other carriers which is new. And the carriers do have to support 4G LTE for this to work and this is US only. The battery life remains the same with 10 hours on Wi-Fi and 9 hours on 4G LTE but since 9 hours on 4G LTE is a big improvement from 9, hour, 9 hours over 3G I think that this battery life may not seem like it's an improvement but it is quite an improvement. The 16 GB version of this iPad will be coming in at 499 US dollars. Here is the range of prices for the 32 GB and the 62 GB versions. Now up on the screen are the prices for the Wi-Fi plus 4G LTE versions with the 32 GB, the 16 GB and the 64 GB memories. The iPad 3 will be launched on March 16th in these countries and Singapore is one of those countries. So you guys, if you're watching out there and you're living in Singapore here with me, then that's great. I'm going to do an unboxing of the iPad 3 video. So just make sure that you look out for that in future video. I'm just going to fast forward now to the rest of the stuff. Um, there were a couple of game slash application demos to show you how good the display was and that kind of thing. There was Infinity Blade Dungeons by Epic Gaming. There was Autodesk and there was Sky Gamblers. And those were basically the applications which were shown during this, uh, during this part of the events. A new version of iMovie with different layouts and capabilities and that sort of thing is now out on the App Store along with a new version of um, a new version of GarageBand with new features too and they have released iPhoto for the iPad and I think for the iPhone too. iPhoto has really really good important editing techniques and editing effects on it already so this makes it a prime application for editing photos. One of the best on the App Store. The iPad 2 now costs 399 US dollars. This is the price comparison for both the different iPads and apparently iPad 
um, 3 is not the actual term for this new iPad. It's actually called the new iPad. And I don't know why Apple decided to do this. Maybe it's got something to do with the future, future version of the iPad. With that, the Apple conference actually ended. But still, to no avail, this was a full conference full of epic, epic changes with the new software, with the new games, the new applications, to the new hardware like the iPad. So I'm really proud of Apple for this. And yes, 2012, I do look forward to more um, advances in technology like the iPhone 5 coming out probably in the June conference. And in, I look forward to following the WWDC conference as much as I did the iPad 3 event. So I'll see you guys later and I will be probably be posting an iPad 3 announcement or unboxing. I will be posting an iPad 3 unboxing probably around the time it releases or a week after that, around March 23rd maybe. And so you guys can look forward to that. Come to my channel. Subscribe to me now if you're looking for a good unboxing. Because I sure as hell will make a good unboxing. See you guys later.